According to a Brown University report, significantly made more U.S. service members have died by suicide than in combat in since 9-11. Now nonprofits and mental health services are working to prevent local veterans from falling into the statistic. Allison Walker spoke exclusively with veterans and experts about the path forward. Over 50 years ago, Fred Stegner, the president of the Springfield Soup Kitchen, served in the Vietnam War, hunting down Soviet nuclear submarines. It sounds like fun, but it wasn't fun. It was every day mission, nine days straight. Members who were stationed over there were many suicides and they didn't know what to call it and then they came up with the post-traumatic uh, stress syndrome. Stegner feeds homeless veterans every week and says there's a stigma around seeking treatment so the soup kitchen ends up being their last hope. Now he's providing peer support in mental health clinics. It's tough because a lot of them are on drugs. They're strung out on drugs trying to beat the PTSD. There is a lot of trauma that our military members and our veterans experience. And so if they don't have the support to grow and to learn through that, it can have life altering changes. Trauma rewires our brain. Brittany Long with Montgomery County's Adamus Board says it's critical to help vets overcome trauma early on. Last year, they received a $375,000 Warrior Supporting Wellness Grant to teach service members at Wright Pan Air Force Base mental health first aid. And they're getting it from people who have walked the, in that walk with them, right? And so there's that level of empathy. Long says Wright Pat used to mandate only one hour of suicide prevention a year. The new program allowing them to hold classes every week. Now over 140 service members are trained, but Long says there's a need for similar programs nationwide. They're able to see these risk factors and they can pinpoint it down to the units that are the most at risk and heavy load that mental health first aid training and that leadership and the peers. Do you have a message for veterans out there who may be struggling in silence. Don't give up. Uh, look for the right, right path to take. And remember, you know, there are people that love you. Reporting for Dayton 24, 7 Now News, I'm Allison Walker.